this is my latest installment on my building a fishing boat out of a raft by putting a floor in it and some uh, swivel seats. But I determined or discovered that I needed to somehow be able to launch that raft by myself and with it loaded down I didn't want to drag it on the ground. So I did some research and came up with a, a PVC boat dolly. I've completed it but I want to give you a, a heads up on how you can do that. Very simple. My investment was actually less than $50 to start out with. On the uh, rolling surface, I got very lucky. Uh, these were at Harbor Freight and they were on sale for like half price. They were only three, they were less than $4 a piece. So that was real good. Then what you do is you take one and a quarter inch PVC pipe. That's what this is made out of. It's not real heavy. But there are multiple layers. So inside this axle part, the outside is one and a quarter. Then inside that, there is a one inch PVC pipe. That gives it some additional strength. And then inside that is a five eighths inch steel threaded rod. And that's what the wheels actually bolt onto. Then you can see the connectors. They're T connectors. And where I really uh, was happy with something that I did, the other versions that I had seen, they have this the pole or the, the uh, push-in rod, they had it screwed in here. I even drilled a hole and tried it. And then you were supposed to be able to take it apart. And I had a heck of a time getting it apart. So what I converted to is a threaded attachment. Makes it much easier. I'll go ahead and show you that. With the threaded is uh, place the trailer or dolly on the ground, get the correct angle, and once you get that now on the garage it's a little harder to do, but there it is. And that's it. Everything is glued except for a couple points. You can see I've used another one of these easy to release connectors. Then I can slide this out and I've got several points where I've marked where that is. And I know you can't see the total length. Match that up. Slide the pin through. Connect it. And I'm done. That adds about four feet. But then I have another one in case I really need to get it way out in the water. And that adds, it's right there. Get them lined up. Slide my clip through. And that adds, I probably have, this is 10 foot, and that's about another 6 or 7 foot. 7 foot. So I can get this out 17 feet into the water, release the raft, pull it in, and I can stay dry. Make sure you attach a rope to it. So I'll show you that when I actually launch. You can see how this one and a quarter inch PVC, then the one inch fits inside it. Now it is going to bow some, but that's fine. Then for storage, this all comes all the way back in. Again, I've got a mark that lines up exactly where the holes are. And I'm done. Storage, unscrew it. This goes to my garage up above, right along the wall. And this, the only part that is not glued here, are these two items. And I'm trying to decide whether I want to uh, transport the uh, wrap that way, or I can turn these in. And that's the way I do it for storage. It just hangs up right on the wall. Always sticks out. What is that? 10 inches. 10 inch wheel. Put my dolly together. I'm going to test it.
straighten out a little bit. We're going to uh, hook the motor up and see how that weight distribution works. As you can see now, I'll turn around, I have the motor installed and ready to go. Pretty happy. So, we'll imagine the uh, start of the driveway is the water line. So we'll see how well this idea worked. So we'll pull this out. My first mark. And, as you can see, even though it bows, I'm still going to be able to push it out. Especially if that were water. And by that point I think the the boat would be floating in the water anyway. So I won't even have to get wet. I've got one more distance of this that I could make it even longer if need be. Same thing with pulling it back in. So, real happy. Real successful.